Hi, everyone. Hello. Welcome to episode six. Six. Episode six. You'll notice we, if you are watching, you'll notice we have a special guest. If you're listening, oh, you can hear him. You em. can hear him. My bearded dragon. Because you know what? Apparently, everyone loves animals. So maybe this will help get us better ratings. <laughs> Okay, but he's a nuisance, so he's not staying up here. So everyone, this is Drogon, and he's a wild man. He's out of here. Bye, Drogon. Bye, Drogon. Live your best life. Okay. So I hope everyone's had a good week. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm doing a good job already looking at the camera. Yeah, I think I am yeah, too. Yeah, we're improving. Yeah, By episode so 1000, we're going to be really profesh. Episode 1000. <laughs> <laughs> and we also decided that, well, I decided that I was like, okay, you know, growing up, you would see like really beautiful news anchors but they always had like hair to here yeah and it looks like it just it ha looks like news anchor hair like it's crunchy it looks full of hairspray yeah i fucking get it now i get it yeah. because i'm watching like the episodes <clears> of me <throat> and i'm constantly touching my hair because i know my hair is kind of like looking limp and falling and stuff but if you just had like and you spray it in place then you wouldn't have to fucking worry about it huh? and we decided we need more makeup too not more, like, not more, but just, like, more for <clears throat> film makeup. Yeah, and hair products. Hair yes, products? hair products and, and more face stuff. Yeah. And you know me, I'm not into makeup. I, I'm yeah. not, I, I bear minimum. Yes. So this has been a lot for me, putting on, like, that little concealer I think stuff. if we just, like, for me, because the same thing, I hate to, like, fully cover my skin. Yeah, exactly. But I feel like if it's literally just to, like, look better on camera. And I don't mean that in like an aesthetics way. I mean just like it's the professional thing to do on camera. You yeah. know, it just looks better. I agree with you. You know, so it's nothing, it's not about like, oh my God, I feel really insecure. I want to like no. cover up my skin. It's just, it no. looks <clears throat> better on camera. And especially like having a little bit of yellow in the makeup because we've got such beautiful natural sunlight here, but I do find sometimes like washes us out, mm. you know? Yeah. So the yellow will help to like on the camera, the yellow, the lights. So, camera, yeah. action. You know. You know. <laughs> okay. So, um, as always, we are going to start our program with a motherfucking would you rather. Oh, and if you are not watching this episode, you've made a big mistake because Crystal's outfit is incredibly on point. She is wearing an avocado jumpsuit from Aritzia, and it is amazing. And she's wearing uh, her maximizing bra. Yeah. So her kajonkers also look amazing. I did have one button down. Mm -hmm. When when we I first put it on, mm -hmm. and then your face was like, oh, no, I was clay, down with it. Maybe clay. I was just like, was, oh, I, I actually no, I think it was <laughs> actually no, it was Clea. Clea I was, was gonna say like, like my blazer's oh. open. Yeah, well, no, when you came downstairs, mm. I was like, oh, maybe I do need to bloop, unbutton, bloop, bloop. unbutton all of this <laughs> maximizeness. <laughs> Well, it looks awesome. Okay, so we are going to start with a would you motherfucking oh. rather before we get into our program. And Crystal's, Crystal's got one today. And I hope you guys are still playing along with our would you rathers because yes. we love these. Okay, which one okay. you got? So since our topic is um, kink for the next couple episodes, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. sex parties is the main one, main conversation for mm -hmm. today. So I was thinking... Let's do this. Would you rather? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so, would you would you rather try nipple clamps? Yes. Or choking? <laughs> okay. Well, I feel like that's an easy answer for me. Same with me. Yeah. I. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm, who's gonna go first? I, who's gonna go first? I asked the question, so you go. first. Please. Okay, well, definitely choking. I just yeah. straight up like choking in general yeah. because I feel like... I've mentioned this before on the podcast. See, I'm touching my hair already, guys. I'm trying not to, okay? And I'm going to try not to, like, lip smack. Be a lady. Guys, we don't have a degree in communications and broadcasting, so we're learning this shit as we go. It's like trial and error. You And also, too, a lot of people tell us, and we were talking about this today, a lot of people... They're try. It's like it's not. It is constructive criticism because that's the way that we um, like imbibe it. Yeah. But it's funny because if you were sensitive, right, it would yeah. be like you could kind of kind of be sensitive about it. Yeah. Like, oh wow, you guys are really like, like you don't really have any structure to your show. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
<laughs> you touch your hair a lot. You don't look at the camera enough. But we actually do appreciate this feedback. We, uh, of course we do. Yeah, of course we're we fucking do. chill. Yeah, we're but, super chill, and yeah. this is super chill. Yeah. So. and we want to be. We want to get really good at this, yeah. but we also don't want to be phony balonies. Yes. So one hundred percent. But yes, I will be phony baloney with my skin, and I will be buying like nineteen eighties hairspray that like literally just keeps my hair fucking locked in place because i think the only place we'll be able to find that is amazon i Probably. think there's one there's one in america called suave or something like that that's I, the one i was thinking of yeah that's the or one like the one from like the the 80s that was like something net yes you know I, know, I know about? what you're talking about yes yeah but yeah, something like that, about. something like that. So guys, prepare yourself. I might have some badass news anchor hair with my She's, suits, yeah. my hoops, and my news anchor hair. Just watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Okay, so back to this. Okay. So Nipple I, clamps or choking? Yes. You pick so choking. I do like choking because um, for me, it's like I got so much going on up here all the time that I need something so extreme physically to like get me out of that mindset. And I find that and I'm also just a rough and playful person in that way. Yeah. But like, I do find that like, yeah, if your breath is getting taken away, you would just enter your body. Yeah. You really enter your body yeah. and you can really be like in that moment. Obviously, like some people have trauma and shit like that with the, I don't, I've only got <laughs> the lizards on the move guys. Um, I only have like positive things associated with it. So for me, definitely, definitely choking and fuck nipple clamps. <sighs> I'm sorry, See, Crystal. Oh, no. <clears throat> I choose you. No. I choose choking. <laughs> I just feel like nipple clamps are like, if you've ever breastfed, I don't know. It's like nipple clamps are like an extension I, of that misery. It's like for me just, okay, so I have super, super, super sensitive boobs. Like my yeah. ex-husband, we had a thing. It was called the, the cup and suck. He'd have to literally. <laughs> He's going to be like, oh, great. <laughs> That's my best British accent. Oh, great. Oh, great. <laughs> that was a good British nice. accent. I love it. Yeah, it was cup it and suck it because, like, you'd have to hold tight because if you didn't, I'm like, ee! like, just so sad. Why? Because it's just, like, dangly? Like, because it's, no, like, just... like, my boobs before Caden were perky, perky, but they were just super, 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 super sensitive. Okay. Super sensitive. So... Me, even the thought of putting nipple clamps on, it's Fuck. just like, it, it makes my yoni dry. Yeah, like, dry, <laughs> dry right up. Mm -hmm. But... I am... I thought you said you had a nipple pierce. I did have nipple piercing. What the fuck? Piercings, How can you have a piercing in your nipple if they're sensitive? Pe because, well, number one, it went, piercings and tattoos are different, babe. Like, they're different for me. It's like, I go into this zone. But, like, I was just about to say, I am willing mm -hmm. to explore... A bit maybe of the you nipple could, like, Maybe you could like desensitize yourself. Maybe you could get like little nipple clips that have like cotton on them or yes, something. Right. Right. Yeah. And then so slowly, start off. Yeah. I just don't have a desire to do that. I don't have a desire to explore that. Well, that's like the whole thing about us doing a uh, kink podcast is because this is. Yeah. Number one, you've you've you you've been dancing in this realm a very long time. Yeah. Um, I danced in the realm in the more dominant way, and yeah. now exploring the more submissive yeah. uh, aspects of it. And that nipple play is is part of it, I guess. Well, that's I was actually going to ask you. I'm like, would you would you feel anything outside of just fucking entertainment? Because it would be so entertaining. Do you would you get any kind of like sex vibes from putting like nipple clamps on a partner or would it or just like, be entertaining or pinching and like squeezing them okay so i've had partners that love their their nippies being like squeezed and pinched and like wow, even really okay oh they do and to see them in that pleasure it brings okay. you pleasure yeah right that's that's because i like to do thing. it just for pain and fun right so like, you're more like, sadistic ah, you're yes. more sadistic right <laughs> they like you're playfully sadistic <laughs> Is she? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, um, I don't know. Choking for me is like, you remember I told you I wore, used to wear that choke chain. Yeah. I fucking love oh that. Oh my God. Would I you just broke the button on my blazer. <gasps> okay, guys, this is about to be a peep show from here on out. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Well, Clearly I'm a the universe is on <laughs> your side. <laughs> viewers oh my gosh guys it's a brand new bla it's a blazer dress actually from what is it pretty little thing or something like that so um 
Um, yeah, everyone working there, sew your buttons on a bit better. Sew those buttons on a bit better. Okay, well, it's a peep show from here on out. That's okay. But yeah, I, I, I don't feel, yeah, maybe if you saw somebody else get pleasure from it, it could be like an associate, associative thing, but no. yeah, I don't, I don't think for me it would be like a turn on. Like just on its own, it wouldn't be a turn on. Because it does make me think kind of of like sex dungeon sort of vibe. and It, it is. Yeah. It's very sex dungeon vibe. Yeah. So um, I've been uh, chatting with this gentleman. We'll call him Sir. Mm. Okay. That's what we'll call him is Sir. And Sir sent me a checklist okay. of things like, um, so there, it's columns of like zero to four what's your experience with it yeah and then the next column is like what's your excitement is it similar it? to like the bdsm test that like a lot of people have done no it has it's not a test it's just a check checklist okay of like so it starts with a it goes from a to z anal play anal beads anal this the anal checklist that. of things that you've done or oh, yes that done so so one of the columns yeah it's, so it's like what have you done spanking list so it goes from a to z yeah of kinky shit okay so first column is What's the level of your experience with it? Yeah. Second column is what is your excitement to go into it? Okay. So, okay. Yeah. So, so I've been working on this for the past three, three days and it's like, it, they had the thing about the nipples on there. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh, you know, like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, and then I'm like, okay, but why? Yeah. Why, Crystal? I'm like, well, it's sensitive. And then Kate and breastfed from there. And like, they're sagging now. And they're not as good as they used to be. And, then, mm. and, then, and so my head kind of spins out. Yeah. But then I'm like, but why not try it? Like, give give it give it a yeah. try. Give, yeah. give it a try. Yeah, yeah. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. So I put in one of them, like, it was like nipple soft something. <laughs> like, and I was like, three for excitement. I put two at first and I was like, no. Wait, out of what, ten? Out of five. Oh, that's pretty high. Yeah, because it says zero play, like zero experience with clamps. Yeah. Like, I think it was, um, uh, uh, closey clothespin. Oh, fuck. I'm like, uh, because the other ones were like, like rough ones. No. And then, so I was like, okay, I'll do a three, like two, three for excitement. Also two, I just don't want clothespins on my nipples. I feel like I'm like better but than that. what if we can do like, but I think, I think, because the other ones are metal. I think with the cotton, those ones would work really well. Maybe. Me. They probably exist. If not, if not, they well, can, you we can need to probably make, some. make something. Yeah. yeah. Well, you can con, 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 conjoct, conject, conjoct. Oh, what's the word I'm looking Concoct. for? Concoct. Con, con, Concoct. <laughs> Cock. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so 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 that's our answers that's yeah you guys you guys figure your shit out figure if you like that and uh or if you're even willing to maybe explore the one that you're like now it feels really big in the gay no. kink scene no i feel like it's a very like homoerotic image for me thinking of like a man being in like like nipple clamps with the chain that seems very homoerotic to me mm -hmm. very homoerotic yeah, Which is fine. A lot of women love it, though, too. I, but I know a lot of men that love nipple play. Like, yeah. a lot. Yes. Do you men like nipple yeah. play? Like, don't be shy. We got our Facebook group up now. <laughs> don't be <laughs> shy. <laughs> we do. We do. Have, but we don't have our community up yet. But we have the... Because you have to make a page. Then you can make a community, I guess. That's the way it works still. And then we just get to invite. And if you're naughty, you get kicked the fuck out. I know. I'm kind of excited. I, I know. want somebody to be naughty. Yeah. Like, get the fuck yeah, out of here. You're not allowed in our I'm the boss. group anymore. I'm the boss. <laughs> she is the boss. I'm just here oh for the ride. God. Okay, so. So she sends me to like, to do the homework and sends me to these sex clubs. Oh, I, <laughs> I sent her. <laughs> Like, is. Where is she going with yes. this? Where is she going with this? Is this is what Chris does to me. Okay, this so. is how I get all of this information for you guys. Because she sends me off to these like places. Okay, so <laughs> I we're going to talk sex parties today. And yes. kind of like swingers parties. All of that kind of shit. And oh, actually, hang on a second. What? How are you? 
I oh, want to yes. ask this how is, you this are This is what first. we do. Yeah. I forgot about this. I want to ask um, how you are. I feel a lot better now. I think last week I was like, oh my God, I'm the worst. I feel like I have really bad seasonal depression. Slash, I, okay, listen, I have a lot of Aquarius friends and I know some of you listen and thank you. I love you. Bless your hearts. And I fucking love you guys, but I hate being in this season of Aquarius. It doesn't <laughs> jive with my energy mm. and it's i've realized now that like that's a really big part outside of like canadian seasonal depression i feel like that's a big part of it it's like yeah aquarius is all about the collective and stuff where i'm like all first house aries placements which is about the self and it feels very overwhelming to be in that space for a long time yeah i feel really disconnected from myself and you weren't the only person like you really weren't a lot of um, my girlfriends, like Christina, yeah. Jen, yeah, a lot of people, like a lot, a lot of my clients. It's just... a rough season to be in for that long. Yeah. I feel like two weeks, it should, we should shorten it. Aquarius, no offense. I know I got my Aquarius <laughs> friends listening. Um, we got to shorten the Aquarius season to like two weeks, two weeks. And it's like, okay, good. Let's move on to P- Pisces. Cause we're in Pisces now. I love Pisces season. So we're here now. And then we're going to be in motherfucking Aries season. That's her birthday. It's amazing. It's the it's best birthday. season because it's also spring. Yes. And it's the got fire. My, yes. <sighs> and everyone just in the energy. Yeah. The energy <clears throat> during during Aries Ooh, season. I'm, it's, I'm horny. It, that's everyone feels horny. The animal fucking kingdom is horny at that time. <laughs> it's it's, it's like, like the horniest <sighs> best time ever <sighs> to be alive. So yes. I can't wait for it's that. It's springtime. It's when everybody's like, oh, yeah, it's time to fuck. Let's funny. go. Dexter's like, oh, and isn't that when, like, Jesus rose or something? I was like, <laughs> yeah. It's also when Jesus rose. Sorry. My son really loves Jesus. No, so I know both of our sons Your are, son's getting into yeah, Jesus. Yeah, he's loving Jesus. Oh my my sister's like, oh, yes, I'm bringing him to church. I'm so me. happy she and has so somebody. I said to her, I'm like, I'll take your son to a static dance on Sunday so you can take Kate <laughs> In church, I love oh, that. like yeah, and she because he's he's the best dancer, my nephew. He's oh yeah, he's, he's oh, fully yeah. posy like three. Yeah, yeah, no no inhibitions yet. No. Just like totally oh, let those go. He just he melts me. I just like I'm like I inspire to be like you. I'm just free, fucking free, free little motherfucking toddler. Oh, I just but then he'll be 14 him. and be depressed and. Oh my god, this age! I tell you. Okay, how was your day? How's your week? Week's mm. been. Well, thank God for uh, dancing, ecstatic yeah. dance. You've done a lot of dance <clears throat> the club. Lately. This is what's keeping me super um, grounded and yeah. not from losing my fucking mind. Um, I've been so lucky that the ecstatic dances have been beautiful. Yeah. And my baby love, Rick, at City. And then yeah. this weekend, we got Nathan Barato. <gasps> so they're both yeah. going to just... I've already told them both. I'm like, hey, hey, just fuck me with the baseline, you know? Give, yeah. give, give this goddess some energy to like keep me lasting so for it's another keeping week. You alive. <laughs> once, like literally once, twice a week, it's like yeah. go and have a dance, and it's literally keeping me from not having a nervous fucking. We need breakdown. to have stuff like that during Babe, this time of year. You, you need have something. to. I've been going more back to the sauna at the yeah. gym. I've been doing more self pleasure exercises, like just massaging myself more. Really, mm-hmm. I'm like, no, I'm like, stop trying to that that part of me wants to be like oh, i just don't want to be here like the other day yeah. i was walking cry my, baby mode yeah i was walking in my house like just fucking pacing and yeah. i'm like <sighs> and i'm like what is going on and i'm yeah. like i feel like a fucking caged animal and i was like yeah. whoa yeah. i'm like crystal i'm like fucking slow it down but this part of me was just like stuff's coming up i don't like it and i'm not sure how to alchemize it and i'm just like okay what do you need, babe? Yeah. And I'm like, I need some love. I'm like, okay, then let's go to the sauna. Yeah. Do what we do best. When and you we end up chatting there. with ladies and convincing them to take their shirts off in the sauna. So it's I like did. Really good influence. I did. We were in the sauna <laughs> and I, I had eucalyptus oil. Yes. And I was like, uh, hey, ladies, do you want to take this experience to a whole new level? And they're like, oh, oh yeah, sure. I'm like, put out your hand. So put out your hand. <laughs> put the eucalyptus oil. I'm like, hey, ladies, rub your hands and just. And so they're all doing it, and they're like, oh, yeah, this is great. And so I'm there, tits out, with my bikini bottom on. 
Oh and then one God. lady, she's got her towel wrapped around two of the other ladies left. And they're like, nice meeting you. I'm like, God is sisters. It's all about the sweat and connecting with one another. The other lady's like, I, I like you. You're really amazing. And then all of a sudden, like, I'm like, yeah, it's the sweat for women to be together. And I'm like, this is what the indigenous do. And we chat and we just be in communion and we let all that fucking heavy shit out. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I love being, I wish I could be full naked. And she's like, well, huh. And she just puts her, she's like, I'll join you. No. <laughs> yeah. She just put her towel down. And was her, that like yesterday? That was yesterday. Oh so, and then it made me feel good. I'm like, see, Crystal, you came to the gym. You're being all like, meh, meh, meh. But when you did the right thing, you yeah. brought so much beautiful energy yeah. and awareness. And I told the ladies too, I'm like, don't forget to nourish yourselves. And I'm like, figure out what that looks like. I'm like, go buy a bottle of... Um, of oil and bring it into the sauna with you. Don't wait for me to come once a month. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I love everywhere you go is little mini adventures are created. Yes. That's, I like that. I like that about our friendship. And it, it's funny because I find a lot of the times I'm always just like, kind of like cross-armed in the back, smiling, watching whatever's about to unfold, unfold. <laughs> We seem like an unlikely duo until you watch this show, and then you're like, wow, all of our fucking answers are the same. Yes. So we seem we seem unlikely, but we're not. We're not. Well, I'm glad you had a few good things happen. Mm, it was, well, it's like I'm moving into it, and then yeah. I'm sitting with the holy children. I decided to sit with them every day. Which is like mushrooms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Psilocybin. Um, to deepen my wisdom and magic with them and try to understand them more, and just to see um, for my own, you know, Mm. What comes up for me today was a bit of a like woo mm -hmm. roller coaster on my way here, but yeah. you know, I alchemized it, sat in the driveway, cranked the music for a song that was mm. all about like about some kind of something, and I was like, I'm singing this to me, <laughs> and I'm like, Yeah, I love me, la, 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 la. and I was shaking and dancing. I'm like, ah, Car dances screaming. are the best, they're the best. The, the best they're thing the about it best. is that, like, because most of the time best. you're driving, right? And it's like your lower half can't really do anything. So it's like all upper body. Yeah, you know what all, I mean? Yeah. And then when yeah. I, I car dance so you're much shaking. that when I go to like dance in real life, I'm like, come on, legs. Yeah. Fucking do something. <laughs> it's like we aren't trained to. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Well, I'm glad you had those happy moments. Yeah. So my, and I'm glad you're feeling back on. Yes. You know, because we, 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 uh, we've been supporting each other very well. I think, yeah, we have this, been. Through this we time. Been. It's good because yeah. I need somebody to like be a crybaby with who's yeah. not going to like try to fix my shit no. and just let me be. Because I'm like, I can fix my own shit. Of course I don't need other people to fix my shit. I just want somebody to be like, ah, when I'm like being a big fucking crybaby bitch. Yeah. Which is like was a lot over the last like five weeks mm -hmm. or so. But yeah, mm, I'm happy. I'm happy we're in a, in Pisces season and then Aquarius or er, Aries season and then Taurus season. There's a good lineup there. Gemini's coming right? up. Right? There's like a good block. Oh, and then like it's Cancer and then it's like, oh, fuck. Wah, wah. <laughs> no fucking offense, sorry. my Cancer friend. <laughs> None of the, no Cancers are listening to this. Maybe my hairdresser. But no, outside of that, no, there's no Cancers listen to, to these podcasts. No way. We're, we're too crude. <laughs> So, no. No. My friend Gavin, yes. the Gerbs. Okay, so he's, he's a, cancer he, and hi, he's Gavin. Gavin's listening. Hi, Gavin. We like you, but we don't like your season. Just like my Aquarius friends, fucking love them. And uh, no, I just really don't like their season. No more than two. Two weeks in, in cancer would be okay. You'd be focused on family. You'd be like focused on your partner and your home and making everything look nice. But then after a month of that, it's like, oh, no. Mm -mm. No. And then what comes after cancer? Leo. That's a good season. I like Leo because yeah, it's all about the fun. razzle and dazzle. It's August. It's you're sweaty. Yeah, you're all sweaty. A and little hot. sensitive though. I find I can be a little sensitive during that time, just like a Leo. See, I, I love the razzle and dazzle of it. Yeah. That's the energy I connect yeah. to. And and Dexter is on point. Same with my mom. She's on point during her month. Like just yeah, vibing high. Like even my ex husband. It's a I good. I wish more people knew that. That it's, it's like where your like predominant signs are, not just your sun sign. Like yep. your predominant signs during that season that is such a good season for you to just tap into your shit mm -hmm. it's just you can just ride so high like i am unstoppable in spring i feel so fucking good during springtime because that's my season this this is my season pisces aries that's my, all my season and 
yeah, so I, I feel good right now. So we should do um, we should do a podcast next season on um, astrology and sexuality with yeah, astrology. Definitely, I, I would. She this is her jam. Besides yeah. being the most amazing chef ever. <laughs> But, but today no. I've walked in with nothing made for me. Nothing. No well, sweets. But she did make me my Tom Brady smoothie. <laughs> so, Tom, that was fucking delicious, I, man. I watched this video and I was like, Tom Brady smoothie. And I was like, this bitch is like 45 years old. And he's well, he retired this year, but he's still in the NFL, NFL, right? He's still like a, a pro oh, he's athlete, a legend. right? Yes. So I was like, whatever this man's eating, I'm, I'm fucking listening. Yeah. And I saw him make this smoothie and it's really good. It's like, and he doesn't eat dairy, so it's like... Uh, coconut yogurt, frozen blueberries, frozen bananas, almond butter, oat milk or soy milk, whatever you have. Yeah. Um, and then a big bad scoop of uh, like a really good vanilla protein. It's fucking slap. It's delicious. It's good. Yeah. So my, so my wife, my, my, <laughs> my podcast, wife. my podcast <laughs> wife made it. And I have a salad coming for you. So I'll just See, calm, your, so calm your avocado she's so titties. Good. She's so good to me. <laughs> okay. Let's ask okay. some questions <clears throat> about sex parties. Sex okay. parties. Okay, so why why so, am I going to these sex parties? Right? Maybe that's the first question we should ask. Well, how long have you been going to oh, sex parties? Okay. Well, okay. So when And like, okay, so first of all, let's like define what a sex party is. Because okay. some parties can turn into sexual parties, but this is a deliberate party no, they're deliberate. that is like, okay, everyone here okay, I'm just making assumptions. But okay, like, let's it's see like, if her assuming is correct. Okay. So it's like there's freedom to just sh- be who you are, yeah. right? Obviously, there's going to be some kind of code of conduct. Yep. But, um, and that probably varies from party to party, depending. Mm, they're pretty much the same. Are yeah, they? You need to ask consent. You you don't go walking around fucking touching people or you don't, you just do not do, you'll get kicked out. You okay. will be asked to leave. You okay. need to ask permission to touch somebody. Okay. Which I love. Yeah. And if a party wasn't like that, I'd be out the door. Yeah. Because I nobody's t- don't How much touch do these me. Okay, because I was thinking, I'm like, okay, how can I even like ask questions about this? But I okay. feel like it's like are are there okay, so consent is like <clears throat> consistent throughout all of these parties, right? Yes. But is there any other kind of like consistent rules or codes of conduct or just like social etiquette? that you that are consistent like that you've seen in like every one of these sex parties mm. or does it like vary it varies yeah yeah so don't you think that's like intimidating for people that want to kind of try to get into the scene because like they don't know what the fuck to expect well this is the yes yeah. and but then that's that's the fun thing about coming to see me yeah as a tantrika is that I will I will explore and help you explore these realms on a deeper yeah. level. But if you don't have that... Because you can bring your clients to sex parties, yes. right? And kind of like <clears throat> act as the amazing middleman. Well, I'm the hostess. I'm hostessing yeah. you. I'm showing you or bringing them to even to a strip club, yeah. right? So because it's the, this realms where they want to explore, they've been married for 15 years, they've got kids that are yeah. like 12, 13, 14, and they're, they've, they've, they've done everything else and they're like, okay... This is the next step. And so, but they're just not quite sure how to like get into yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because yeah, it would be intimidating, like I said. If you of don't course it if is. you know the only rule is consent, that's and also too, it's like I was talking with Nathan about it and he was like, Okay, wait, so like for these sex parties, are they like at a rented place or like are they at people's homes? Sometimes, okay. There's a uh, one in Ottawa, there's a home one. There's okay. a house that's out outside of Elmont. So if they just, it's like, and it's so people like, so what they it, do, and yes, they just they, consistently have these sex parties. <clears throat> once a month. Okay. Once a month. They, and it's like six, it's six or seven months out of the year for this home. Okay. okay. Um, so I'm a huge voyeur. Like I, I'm all about the watching and yeah. um, that's when I first went, that's that's what you liked about that's it? That's what I did. And I was talking to the lady about teaching Tantra. Yeah. That's how the whole thing okay. came about, is me going to this party. And, yeah. and, and this, so this was like, what, two or th- three years ago, maybe? Okay. And then I was like, and then I had these married couples, and I was like, oh, what a great place. I can bring them here. This is a house. Yeah. It's safe. So downstairs, they have like um, a bunch of beds, a private room, and then they have a dungeon room. And then wow. a and there, It's a couple? Now. Yes, older couple. Like Really interesting. Older couple like like late 60s like I think maybe the wife might be 65 
Instagram, Wowzers, and maybe okay. him 70. I don't know. Nice. Yeah. So it ranges from all types of different walks of people. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Yeah. But is it like... There's a pool in the backyard. People can camp overnight. There's a strip pole in the garage. He DJs. The, the man that runs the party, he's the DJ. 70-year-old DJ? I, he's really good. Okay. I send him music all the time and he okay. plays all my favorite songs. <laughs> so. We love you. Oh my God. Um, I don't want to mention their names because course, it's an yeah. invite party only. Yeah, yeah. So like you have to invite somebody to okay, be Okay, so invited. that's a good question too. So mm-hmm. are there sex parties that are just like... Okay, so let's say you're new to the sex party scene okay. in any city really yeah yep. i'm sure some cities are much crazier than others but like yep. let's say you're like listening to this podcast and you're kind of like fuck i'm kind of interested in it like how do they even go about finding sex parties i would go to okay if if i was like i would go to a strip club i would go to a strip club and talk to either the bouncers the girls that are dancing or the bartenders and i'd be like hey yeah i'm interested in kink and do you know anywhere like in in this city where I can go to a party and just do they have any like online like like Um, is it easy to find them on like social media you can um uh what's that fat hang on fet life fet life fet life okay yeah just search that just go on fet life and it will you can go to into each each city Ah, and it shows you okay that's good yeah yeah so that might be more in people's comfort zone than like Go driving out to a strip club on like a Friday night, being like, "Oh, I'm not actually going in. I just have a lot of questions for you." (laughs) The guy's like, Uh, "Fuck off! I'm not paying the door. (laughs) No, (laughs) the door fee." Oh, I love it. Okay, okay. So, other questions that I might have. So, is it? Do you find in your experience? um, Because you've been going to these for like a thousand years, right? Yeah. Okay. For a long time. So England's a better scene. I feel like Ottawa can't be a good scene. Yeah, Ottawa. It's like a we, little bit dry. All of our and actually, a lot of our listeners are not from Ottawa. So, um, for those of you who have visiting Ottawa <laughs> is one thing; living here is a different thing. We yeah. are like a high tech slash government city. So and very, university city. Yeah, so it's university kids and government people That's and high tech. Is. Yeah, and high tech. Yeah. So it's yeah. very business and educational oriented, which is actually a nice place to live. Yeah. But um, if you're looking for a fun time, fashion this ain't it. If you're looking for fashion, no. chic, sexy, seductive, this is so not Ottawa the place. is like no bueno. No bueno. It's um, what's those? Those red shirts, the fucking plaid shirt. This is oh. Ottawa's. This is Ottawa's football team. It's a red and black plaid yeah. shirt. What? And it's a lumberjack. I is know, our mascot? What the fuck? So that's Ottawa. Like, wah, wah. That is Ottawa. It's it's a sleepy town My in that way. My soul dies every day living in this <laughs> town. <laughs> Every fucking day. But I'm it like, is oh. nice that it's majority it's, safe, majority yes. boring. It's a good place to it's like a great place raise, to raise a family. A yeah. Like yeah. 100%. Uh-huh. 100%. But mm-hmm. yeah, it's. I can't imagine that like the sex scene here is like mm-hmm. off the chart. No. I feel like Montreal, Toronto, like the those cities would be better than here. I. This is where my next stop is because I went out with, um, we'll call her Candy. She tasty. was, yes, she, well, she is very tasty. <laughs> um, she came out with me because you just went to a sex party. Yes. Um, it's called the Phoenix in Ottawa. Mm-hmm. They're on Facebook and it was kink night. Friday night's kink night. Is it a sex <clears> club <throat> period or do they just have like uh, a, uh, um, I, I think so. Well, okay. I think they do something daytime ish. I'm not sure. I don't know. They'd have to. Yeah, they serve sandwiches, bagels during the day, and then a bunch of couples come here and fuck each other in the evening. It's a good business model. And then they serve cock and cunt at night. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, so we walked. So <laughs> Candy and I, yeah. I was like, okay, you need to come with me before we go out dancing. Has she ever gone to a sex party? Um, I think she has. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah. think this is her first rodeo show. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. I don't think so. But don't quote me on that. But yeah. I fucking, I don't think so. Okay. I think she's been. Um, and I was like, okay, I have to go somewhere to check this place out to see if it's like potentially good enough for me and my clients. And, right. And maybe if I do like the kink, Sir and I can go there. Okay. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, so I'm like killing two birds with yeah, one stone. Yeah, absolutely. Right? And um, 
we walk in. So it's kink night. So I'm not sure they do a thing on Monday night and a thing on Saturday night. Monday night, I think. Monday what? night. I know. I'm going to go try it out on a Monday. I, okay. I will. Just to see if it's a different vibe. We walked in. Mondays are so <clears throat> oh, energetically. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's why. Maybe it that's might be why. good. It might True. be like a Facts. good way to fucking get your, yeah. your week going. You're like, <laughs> it's going to keep us till kink <laughs> night, you know? <laughs> yep. Keep the weekend going. Right. So we walked in and... I was like, well, we were um, entered. There was a beautiful goddess and her partner outside. And the, the goddess was like, you two are gorgeous. And nice. Ten, um, Candy. Yeah. Well, and you're both so tall. I know. And we looked great. I bet you did. We yeah. looked gorgeous. We looked super, super gorgeous. So we go in and there's no music playing. So what? I'm kind of like... Ew, I thought this a was quiet a club. Sex club. Yeah, I was like, I thought this was a club. And so we went to the front door and I said, hi, I reached out to you on Facebook. And he was like, wow, you're a lot taller than I thought. <laughs> I told you, the tall thing always comes in. <laughs> <laughs> and so he uh, took us for a tour. They have two dungeon rooms downstairs. But no music. No music. It Ooh, was weird. I don't like that. They, okay, whatever. It was what weird. It Phoenix? Yeah. Okay, guys, up your game. Yeah. No, I, I, they you need, need music. You gotta set need, the, like, the it's have, gotta be ambient, like. That's the whole thing. It's oh. like, for me, it's all ambiance. It's yeah. like, when I walk in there, I want to feel sexy. I want to feel yeah. like, like I'm coming into a place where. It's mystery. It's something wonder. at least. It sets, it's it, like, set the mood. S- there's like has even to be a if tone. I have just like regular sex in my own home, I'm always like, wait, let me put music on. Yeah. Like, let me light a candle. Something. Let me put some incense on. Something like, different. Just something. Yeah. You know, or yeah. else it's just like it's just a room. It's, it's our bedroom. Yeah. That we like we're and just hanging out with our kids in. Exactly. You gotta you gotta do something. Yeah. So yeah, ooh, I say points lost for that. No, it was <laughs> it was big points lost for that. <laughs> but the two dungeon rooms were amazing. Okay. Like they were geared right. Were up. people using them? Um I got so one or was gen- it like a school dance no, where everyone's like waiting for the no, somebody to like one gentleman was preparing yeah. his stuff and there was a goddess sitting in one of the chairs. I think they were preparing and getting ready. And then the next room, there was um, people preparing and ready. And he was like, do you mind if I show her first before you guys get started? And so we got to walk in and this one girl, she was right. There. She was a dom and she was in her leather and her whips and her little hat. And I was like, oh, she looks so cute. <laughs> and you could tell the three people she was with, she was ready to... Okay. Punish them. Are they boys or girls? Both. Okay. Yes. And then so we went upstairs. And then so there's some rooms for, for sex. Yeah. And then he had in the back room in in the side, well, that was where I was like, <gasps> is this the hole in the wall? No, this wasn't the hole in the wall. This was a <laughs> bathtub that he hasn't done yet. This huge, beautiful bathtub with oh. wood on the back. And I was like, you need to get this sorted. I'm like, beautiful bath ceremonies can be done yeah. in here. So they... they it needs a bit of construction. Okay. It needs a little bit of of love. Okay. I, I I see there's so much potential there. Yeah. But it just needs a few little tiny tweaks. But like maybe music. Music's number one. Yeah. And just just now is it ex- was it expensive to no. go into? Oh, we didn't pay because we went there for a tour. Right. Do they serve booze there? Um. Uh, no. I think. Well, you how can the bring... fuck do they make money? I don't know. I don't know if they don't sell booze. It wasn't a club. That's the whole thing. It wasn't a club. Like, it was just like these rooms you can go to. It And there was like maybe a few spots where you can have a hangout. But it mm. wasn't a club. It was, it was, it was different. I've never been to a sex party like that. Yeah, okay. Never. And I've been to a lot of places. Yeah. Like, a lot. So, to me, it was, I don't know if that's because that was kink night right yeah. they have different nights but they should so. have like kinky music on and yes yeah i, I, I asked I, him i said i don't understand the, the money music? making I element said, of it where's where's the music yeah. right where's your music and yeah. he's like oh you can add in your own music in the bluetooth in the rooms and i was like huh i was like okay that's a nice idea but why but not? shouldn't there be like a cohesive like if you're building something like that like if i was hosting oh, this button if i was hosting a sex party i would have that like music planned weeks in advance oh yes you know i would be like okay this is the theme this is like this is what we're doing yes 
So I think literally for them, it's just that's it's just a place for people to go and play. It's not it's they're, they're not. Maybe it's Ottawa Tonians, Ottawa people that they're just like they don't give a fuck about the little tiny details and the extras. I'm all about the details. Yeah. So I looked up these clubs in Montreal. Yeah. I'm coming for you, Montreal. <laughs> you have sent me some. Don't yeah. they look amazing? Yeah, Those they look, two they look, look nice. amazing. Like yeah. it looks like as soon as you walk in, they have a restaurant, they have a, a like a bar area, they have music, they've got all these dungeon rooms, they've got play rooms. It's just like you when for me, if I'm gonna because this is the whole thing, it's about tapping into that feminine energy. I don't want to walk into a place and be like, oh. I want to walk into a place and be like, oh, and then yeah. have my yoni being like, oh, you want oh, you don't want to oh, walk oh, in oh, and oh. think about all of the things you could improve. Yeah. You know, you go in and you're like, mm, this should be better. You want to be like taken in by the whole yeah, like, you want to be of it. Yeah, you want to be swept fucked totally. away. Totally. When my clients come to me, I want them to be swept away by me. I want yeah. them leaving being like, wow, I didn't even think there was as much detail yeah. as uh, as she as she did because you know I've got the smells I've got the candles it's all like your that, senses this all I, it's like yeah. I even take away senses for them right so I can enhance other senses right. for them so it's like to me if I was to have a sex club it'd be the best fucking sex I club. believe you it and would I, be the best I have been encouraging you too I was like you should host sex parties because those parties would be yeah. amazing uh-huh. Mm -hmm. They'd be amazing. And they would be so different than what people are typically used to because you would add that like uh, kind of spiritual, sexual, tantrika element to it and get people like all kind of riding a similar vibration. And I feel like that would be amazing for you. I feel like your sex parties would be the best sex parties. I think so too. They'd be like that more that Egyptian goddess temple. Like Mm. the the old school sex parties. The original baby. Yeah. I, I know, feel like that too. There. Some good drum music. Yeah. Mm. And all these beautiful Incense. goddesses and men dancing around. And, and greenery. Like, yes. Like, like yes. Everything Even if lush. it's fake, just add that element to it. You know, that well, that's why you just have to have a sanctuary in the jungle. And that's where all the sex parties will be. Give me about those, five to ten years. Those people. would be epic. They would be epic. They would yeah. be amazing. Be I'm looking for sponsors. Some investors. Yes, please. <laughs> Sex parties in the jungle. Oh, that would be epic. And you could actually get some pretty fucking fancy clients going oh, to those. Fucking right. You that would, would be really I'm calling you in. Yeah. Calling everybody in. Mm. Okay. So have you ever gone to a sex party when you were partnered up? Yes. Me How? me and my ex husband. Okay. Because he was yeah. into them too? Well, we were we We've explored. He's you remember, he's an he's an MC for drum and bass music. So yeah. he's He's lived a life. He's yeah. traveled the world, lots of ladies, you know. Like, that was the one thing that we had in common. Do you prefer? We liked lots of ladies. <laughs> <laughs> so do you prefer going to them, like, solo, or did you prefer going as, like, a couple? Or, like, what's the experience? Like, for you, what's the difference? And do you find that you get, like, like um, hit on, for lack of a better term, more when you're solo or like what's that experience no, like what's the difference no no you don't people are pretty like people are pretty good and men are pretty good like they won't come up to you they'll let you come to them okay they really will because they don't want to be creeps and they don't they have um they have some good ethics to them and okay. and especially if they've been in the game a long time i find like when i go out there's always men that want me to to spank them or to hurt them like not hurt them but you know it's because you're so big and tall. Yeah. Yeah. Like a big Amazonian yeah. woman, right? Yeah. They're like, ugh. Um, but I enjoyed going with, with my ex-husband, but I would always go with my girlfriends all the time. Okay. I went with Jen. I went with my girl Paula. Yeah. I'm like, England's amazing for sex parties. It really <laughs> is. It really is. It oh was probably gosh. the best place in, in, in that, that you've I've, dealt that, with. That yeah. I've ever dealt with was in the UK. Yeah. That's so interesting. Yeah. That's so interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so no preference. No preference to go with a partner or just go with friends or go with alone. Because you well, also go to them alone. I love going to places alone. Yeah. I'm going out this weekend alone. Some people can't even go to dinner alone. No, I love being by myself. Me too. But, but like, half see, half see. Yeah, half see, half see. Yeah. Because I like being out for lunch. And then I like being out for lunch with you. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But I like being out for lunch by myself because then it's like, if I want to chat, like, you know me, I like to chat. Yeah. Like, hey, you need a hug? You want a hug? This happens often. Hey. Yeah. And people love it. 
People actually love it. Like when we went, did we tell that story last week when we went to the weed shop? And then that one guy, like you were like, oh, you're really tense or whatever. You need a hug. And this one girl's like helping me. And <laughs> yeah. And then anyways, there ended up being like basically a lineup for Crystal's hugs. And the whole time I'm like being her like, PR person. I'm like, actually, she's actually a professional hugger. Yeah, and people are like, wow, well, I want to line up for a professional hugger. And I was like, I got you. <laughs> They're so cute. Then Dexter's like, I could do that job. I know. Her son. Her son. He's like, well, when I'm 19, I, could, I, could, I think I could be a professional and, hugger. And then the best thing is, he's like, because I couldn't do it now, because to be honest, <coughs> that would be really creepy if an adult hired me to hug them. <laughs> <laughs> he's so cute. I'm like, you're not wrong, Dexter. You're not wrong. Professional. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, so like what's what has been if you're willing to share? Like yep. what has been your like best best experience at a sex party? And like where was it? Give the deets. <laughs> oh, okay. Um you can PG-13 it okay. if you want. Okay. Well, uh, okay. So it was with me, my girlfriend Paula. Okay. Um what country? Like what city? England. What we okay. were in England. Yeah. And, um, oh, we looked good. And the, who was the guy? He was one of Jen's friends. Yeah. Oh, he's such a sweetheart. Probably the most nicest, sweetest guy. And fucking you would have loved him. Beefcake, nice oh, arms, tattoos. Not sad Oh, look at I got some guys. Goosebumps. Oh, some good um, memories. Yeah. And um, we, d- we decided to do ecstasy that night. Fun, um, yes. Because I was sober. Oh, I was okay. sober. I wasn't drinking, yeah. and I wasn't doing like hard drugs. I wasn't like... doing the cocaine. Yes, um, I was doing, and so I was like, oh, "Fuck it, let's just fucking do some MDMA and okay. let's go to town." So we had our outfits on. She had a corset. I had my whip and my tucker boots up to here. Amazing. And where was Sean? I don't know where my husband was at yeah. that time. He was yeah. where? I don't know. I'm sorry. Where my ex husband was at that time? <laughs> let's not get this shit twisted. Um, and we walked in, and it was a, it was a good vibe. Okay, then, there was music. Yes, there was music, <laughs> and there was a lot of good playing going on. So a lot of good voyeur watching. Playing stuff. like I mean, people doing people sexual they're things. doing stuff. Yeah, some people doing their kink like yeah. domination, not like people on their knees being submissive, or and some other people, people just doing sex. Like, okay, and, okay, okay. Yeah, some people yeah. are sucking each other off in the corners or whatever yeah. the fuck they're doing. Yeah. So it was a good voyeur. You're like, oh, well, let me go look over here. And, oh. Look what's going on over there. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. And then I was like, my peak was coming. Okay, high. okay, yeah. So I'm like, I go and sit down somewhere, and I'm like, oh. I'm like, oh, my God, I'm fucking really high, and I'm horny. <laughs> and I'm like, I need to kiss somebody. When I do ecstasy, I I, I just love making it. It's just like, oh, my God. It's okay, like, oh, my God. okay. And then I found him. I'm like, come on, just kiss me. Is this the beefcake guy? Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, okay, dear. And then he's just making out with me. And I'm just like melting. And I'm like, ah. And then I'm like, okay, I think I want to be a little bit more naughty. But we didn't like have sex. Yeah. But he he took care of business oh with God. his lips. And he took care and of, he took care of business in front of it? everybody. She was in her she was high to it. <laughs> I think she was whipping somebody in the corner. Oh she was on God. her own little mission too. Oh but God. for me, you know what this is? It's like now coming to Canada yeah. and seeing what the scene is like here. I'm 100% sober. Yeah. Right? So, like, back then, I was either drinking and doing coke or, or on ecstasy. Yeah. I would, I've never gone to a, a party. Not, sober, sober, sober. Yeah. 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 So, it's like a whole new element as oh well. Oh, my God. So, yeah. It's like, because it's like when you're going in with a sober mind. and I would ask in, you if you were nervous, but there's no way you were. No. No. No, I wa- when I walked when we walked in, uh, Candy and I walked in, like literally to the spot Phoenix. Like it was like we were sore thumbs. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you guys were expecting something totally different. Yeah, you're expecting more of like what you just said. Yeah, yeah. yes, yeah. And maybe it is on a Saturday and Monday night. Maybe it is like that. Maybe their kink nights different than. Than their couples Maybe. night or their swingers night, so yeah. I, I've got to go test it out. I don't want to like say no. I'm gonna go for your sake. I'm gonna go and do all of this work and mm, check it out for okay? your sake. For your mm, sake, absolutely, a hundred percent. I fully believe that. 
<laughs> so, okay. So, the, like, se- okay, so let's say you're okay. a couple. Yes. And you want to be, like, non-monogamous together, okay? Like, okay. do you think that, like, a sex sex parties are a good place to start that? Or is that a bad idea? You want to be, like, not together? Yeah, like, you want to be, like, polyamorous. So oh, you're going to, like... I would join a polyamorous community first and, okay. like, get into that vibe first. Before and you go to, like, would, a sex club? Yeah. I would just... Do you think it's too, like, immersive right away? Yeah. And okay. if you you need to have, like... What I've really noticed about the dom and submissive, submissive um, realm, it's, like... It's so communicative. It's so yeah. talking. And it's like, what are your boundaries? It's like a lot of like these, this realm, it's, it can deepen your relationship even mm. more than you could ever imagine because you have to talk and communicate way fucking more than your regular relationship. Yeah. And it's like, I actually because think, you're like going outside the box. Exactly. So I think kink is actually one of the most beautiful forms of bringing yeah. harmony to your relationship and bringing yeah. more depth and commu- and and transparency, right? Um, would you consider being like polyamorous kink? Would I consider a kink? Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. I guess you could use it a line of kink or. Nah, maybe, but maybe it's kind of kinky if you're like married kinky. and you're fucking other people. That's pretty kinky. Yeah, that is pretty kinky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is pretty kinky. So you think that okay? So if if there's a couple out there right now, or yeah. like someone who's listening to this, yeah. and they want to get into the realm of poly- polyamory, is that how you say yeah, that? I think so. Um, you think the best way that they should do that is like find a like polyamorous community yes. first. I would think so first and, and make sure that they communicate. Um, but I, if that's, yeah, there's lots of works for them to do like as a couple, Yeah, but just to explore like outside oh, why, of but that. But why not? Well, it, I guess it doesn't matter. Go to a, um, I would say go and voyeur first. Okay. That's what I, you know what? Fuck the community. Make your own community. Yeah. Really make your own fucking community. And if, if anything, like go and just suss it out, voyeur first, and be like, hmm, and then talk, Do I vibe with talk this? to people. So when I brought my younger couple to the house, yeah, out in Elmont, um, they did like amazing work. They were really nervous at first, were, though, right? She, yeah, she she was. He yeah. was excited. She was more nervous, and but they through the whole night they went off and they talked, and then they would she she they really. Okay. huge communication yeah. and then they actually did play at the end yeah a little bit yeah. right and which is amazing for which your is, first time it was amazing yeah you know it wasn't a huge play it was closed behind closed doors but there were another couple in there but then they left but it was beautiful yeah. because she really went out of her fucking comfort zone but and she's she like, was and she's like i don't like it, it. no nope, right? she wasn't he was interested in it <sighs> that's rough so she was just trying to be like a she, good partner well no she's like i will try I'll give it a try. So yeah. I was super proud of her because it's like, you don't know if you like it or not until you try it. Yeah. Right. So, I assure you, I don't like and it. And she, she, <laughs> she was like, no, this isn't for me. And yeah. it was like, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. I wonder if they still go. No. It was just a one hit wonder. Yeah. That was a one hit wonder. Okay. Well, I hope that's okay for them. Yeah. Cause he's interested in it still. So my, my other, um, my other couple, I didn't even tell you the fucking oh. dumbass he is. So oh, remember, bless sakes. him. I, I love you, but you know exactly. You're a you dumbass. Are. You are. So I told him this already. So I asked him, I said, okay, your fantasy kink, fantasy mm. date, blah, 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 Your blah. favorite question. Yeah. Yeah. And he's like, I'm like, ask the wife. I'm like, this is your homework for you and her. And he's like, yeah. oh, okay. Yeah. So he comes back. I said, how, how was, how is the the question? Yeah, and he's like, well, her her fantasy, you know. He go, he didn't like her fantasy. He goes, he's such an idiot. He's like, well, her fantasy was with her with another girl, but I don't like that. I said, well, why? He's like, because I wasn't there. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, you didn't shame her, did you? He's like, well, I told her it wasn't very nice. And I'm oh, like, no. Aww. I was like, babe. He's like, but what if she wants to leave me? What if she does right. it for another girl? I said, but sweetie, I said, it's a fantasy. I said, don't yeah. you want to encourage her? And I said, and listen, at the end of the day, if she's exploring women, yeah. I'm like, you might be able to get 
two yonis for the price of one. I but said, not everybody's into that. My husband would rather fucking jump off the side of a cliff than do that. So not every guy is into that. He he would he he would be he, he wants to he wants to be a part of it all. And so this is why yeah, he's coming to me. Yeah, but that sounds like me. it's a good fantasy then for him. I, so this is why he comes to me is yeah. because I'm teaching him to really embrace her goddess, to really slow down with her, to really because he came to me because he ejaculates quickly. Yeah. Okay. And um, we do breath exercises and kegels and I teach him how to like more honest because he always would say he's like, well, I like it to be all about me. And I'm like, that's the fucking problem, honey. Oh, fuck, at least he can admit it. No, he does. No, and he does. And he's the work that I've done with him. It's been amazing. Okay. He's, He's. she's she keeps sending them to me yeah like how amazing is she she's like no go see her you know like yeah. she sees the value because they've been um doing a lot more he's lasting longer right he's taking more time with her slowing down not being slowing so down we brought i brought them to the strip club for the first time they're going like almost every weekend now they have a favorite girl i said ask the girl for the number i'm like she'll <laughs> want to know when you're coming in so she can make the fucking money off yeah. of you he's like i'm not sure about that i said get the wife to do it so they're just loving this exploration. Yeah. Yeah. Loving it. And he's doing so much better. But I was like, don't shame her fantasy. Yeah. Because you're not in it. That's hard, though. <laughs> That's hard. Like, if my if my husband's fantasy didn't involve me either, I would, would be like... Would you be hurt? Yes. I wouldn't be hurt. I'd be like, I'm changing my fantasy. Yeah. It's different now. <laughs> I would be so vengeful. Because it's but like... is Nate even in your fantasy? Did you mention Well, me? he was, but to keep it like, to keep it like <laughs> non-associative, I was like my partner because I just feel bad saying those things like on camera and <gasps> fucking children listen to our podcast and I was like, it's my partner. But also too, he's not physically capable of doing any of that stuff at the moment because of his like his shoulder. So he can't do any gym stuff, which is like. So you just fantasize about it now. I look at old pictures of him on my phone all the time. I'm so sad when I look at them. And then I do this sicko thing where I, I've screenshotted two pictures of him now versus him before. And I do this back and forth and I look and I then know. I'm just like, <laughs> guys, he had the nicest body. Like he's still not Nate, Nate, Bosa, Nate, but, you like, still have a good body. Well, he has a fine body, but it's like, it's he's not like gritty. he had an exceptionally yeah, but good he body. Was like, 20 then no he wasn't he was like in his 30s it was before he got hurt but those pictures i look at him those were like only from like four years ago oh he's he had a beautiful body like beautiful because like unlike a lot of guys who like look good like because i want the full athletic package okay yeah like a lot of guys look good because they do a lot of upper body stuff yeah and then they got their skinny and then you scrawny look at their legs, legs and you're like, like those mm. are bad like even if they're like strong they're not shapely. Like my favorite kind of shape on a body is muscle. Yeah. Like I love muscle shaping body. Mm-hmm. So he also had these beautiful quads, decent hamstrings. Mine are better. Um, <laughs> nice strong ankles, right? So I was like, he was good. Like just like just good, full package, good. Yummy. So it's yum it's, yum. It is so sad. To, ten like, out of ten, yum yum. Just so good. So he's at what eight out of ten, yum yum now. Mm, I don't know. He watches this podcast. So yeah, eight out of 10. <laughs> I give you nine, Nate. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Like uh, how many times on this podcast have I gone on about shoulders? I love shoulders so fucking much. And it's like some kind of like funny universe curse that that should be what gets damaged on my husband. And now he literally has like one tiny arm and one tiny shoulder. Like, like, it's creepy to look at sometimes. So what would be your next... Thing. besides shoulders what's like your next thing like what's your next like ah oh, yeah um, I, love, I love looking at that i like i like um i love it i like it a, a thick on. waist so thick waist. yeah like a strong thick waist so i feel like a lot of women when they'll be like look at this guy he's so good looking i'm like okay yeah he's got a hot body but it tapers too much okay i like it when it's boxier like i like right. you look like you could hit this man with two baseball bats one like on the side one on the back and he'd be like oh but he'd be okay like literally go look at Nick Bosa's body, Google it. That is, Ooh, that's Nick. the perfect, that's the perfect, like that's it. That The shoulders that lead into like a nice. He's a fucking beefcake. And he's 6'4". He looks like he's 5'10". 
He's six four. Nick. He would trump you. Like he would be so much bigger and taller than you. He could bench press you. Can you, Nick? Can you bench press me? Can Nick. you bench press both of us at the same time? Challenges on, baby. I'm d I am so Nick. down with that. Challenges on. <laughs> so yeah, that would be that's my other thing. So Okay. That's so so for me, my thing is like you know those lines that they get in mm -hmm. right there you remember the like uh, remember d'angelo oh, yeah. uh, and oh it's just slowly going down into his that like, was my <laughs> that was my favorite video growing up i'm like I'm, I'm, it I was don't know really pornographic doing, doing to my yoni but i didn't even use yoni i'm like oh my clit's going funny here i'm like 16 because years old because it's like oh. they did that was like the most sexual video it was amazing and you know what i love about it it's like usually with music it's like overly sexualized think of like Nicki minaj everything's like colorful and in your face and you're yeah. just like this is cartoonish right yeah. but man they made that in black and white it was and they just perfect. slowed it right down and they had the drips yeah. of water that just, is, it was that was that, made for women that that so those the lines mm -hmm. but you know what's so uncomfortable wow. is like because i have my son dexter's oh my like a, a beefcake to be right so yeah, all the time he like be. pulls down his like pants a little bit lower and he's like mom look and i'm like kate gross I don't want to see those lines. Those are sex lines to me. Yeah. Like, exactly. those are sex like, lines. Like, you don't want your 14 year old son to be like, look at my sex lines. You're like, yeah. okay, I see lines. them. Put them away. Show them to the girls at school. Oh, my <laughs> God. No, don't. But, yeah, no. There, it's true. But that, that video slapped. Yeah. That song slapped. Yeah, that whole album was amazing. So, it was. unfortunately, um, I looked him up again d'angelo yeah and he oh my god is he ugly now he he got into the crack baby oh he's like oh not no. now but i think now he did what's the last latest album he did it was some it was more of like a preachy yeah it was god god yeah, album. Was. so i, I think he it. did the d'angelo thing then got into some heavy Ooh. situations and then did the other album which was okay but d'angelo like that that album was okay but at least he's like I, I'll take him being down with Jesus and yeah, not being so a like, sexy man anymore than him being like a skinny crackhead. No, that we is don't so want tragic. That. No, we don't want that. Oh, no, because so he's so talented. He's beautiful. My yeah. God, he's gorgeous and he's talented. Like, yeah. Yeah, who was it? Jill Scott he was married to? Or what? Was, I don't know that much I like D'Angelo so. trivia. Oh, well, yeah, D'Angelo. <laughs> he's kind of your type. He is my type. He's your type. Whew. Yes, yes. Yes. He is yummy. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. we're at the hour mark. Are we? We are. Okay. We talked about, well, okay, I hope we answered some questions. I didn't answer shit, but I hope we answered some questions about um, potential interest that you might have in going to sex parties yeah. or swingers parties or shit yeah. like that. Fet life, definitely yeah. all that. That's a place definitely you want to go to is Fet life or even um, your face book uh look there in are facebook groups there are because i'm friends with you now sometimes they come up and it was funny i joined one of them and then i was like this group is really funny but i did notice that it's like because again it's a small city i did notice it's the same people posting all the time i was like oh shit this is gonna be fun but i was like okay it's the same four people that post every day yeah and then i was kind of like oh i'm not gonna I, i'm uninterested but i was yeah. like oh my god there's gonna be like hundreds of people posting this kind of content i'm here for it yeah so I think you need bigger cities for that. But we'll do a recap when I go to Montreal. Well, okay. I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping when we do go to Montreal that you'll be like, okay, let's just go. We're going to voyeur it. We're going to go out for a nice dinner and we're going to go. We're just, and if you don't like it, we can leave. That's the beautiful thing. We don't have to stay, but you can be like, I went to a sex club, bitches. <laughs> yes. So not on my bucket list. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> You want to. You know you oh, do. I, I don't think so. Oh, I know you do. Mm. I'm going to con Nate into it as well. I, I don't feel, know how I'm going to do this, but I will. I swear to God, my dad and your dad have a better chance of coming to a sex club than Nathan. Like, just listening to him talk about being, like, a germaphobe. Like, he would just, no. His awkward, like, Don't no. worry. I'm going to bring the spray. Don't. I'll have it all sorted. I'll make sure Nate's fucking fine that would be so funny it's I, gonna be amazing. I would go just to see how awkward he would be yes so see there we go nate let's go baby <laughs> okay that's it fuckers okay so uh what podcast mm. is this six so yep oh yes and guys uh season one ends at eight episodes then we take a little break yeah a little break and then we get back at it so we have you have uh two more episodes with us another kink one I mm -hmm. think we'll just talk more shit. And yeah. then the next one, we have our first guest. We're going to try to <laughs> learn how to have two microphones so we can have more than just us. Um, and then Crystal can deal with her separation anxiety once we have two mics so that 
I can have a mic and she can have a mic. And it's like we're real professional I, podcasters. I feel like, look who, at my do you, here. My do goodness. you guys want two mics or do you like us being close like this? We can still be close. We can put both of our microphones close together. How about that? What do you guys think? Let you tell us what you think. Tell two us. microphones. Two girls, two microphones. See, I like two bitches in one microphone. Two <laughs> hot moms in a microphone. Check a check. Two hot moms in a microphone. Wah, wah, wah. Rewind. Peace. That's it. That's all you get. <laughs> See you in the next one, fuckers. See you losers later. <laughs> <laughs>